Today in this 2012 Chevy Malibu, we'll be using a six pole round pin connector, part number PK11609, and diode kit, part number 38955. We're gonna install our six pole connector here in this space. So first I'm need to remove the lower panels so that I can start routing my wire. From routing our wire, we wanna be careful to stay away from the pinch points such as a suspension or steering or excessive heat such as exhaust. I'm going to use a piece of airline or pull wire to help me thread it through the frame here of the vehicle. We got our wire run to the back of the vehicle. Now we need to get up into the trunk area so that we can attach it to the manufacturer's wiring. To do that we're going to need to pull apart some of the rear interior. So first we'll remove the spare tire cover set it outside the vehicle for reinstallation later. Now we've got a couple of fasteners here in the trunk that'll have to be unscrewed. And you'll see we've got a couple of push pin fasteners that also need to be removed here. With those removed, I'll now go ahead and remove the rear threshold. To make it a little easier for us to remove the carpeting, we're gonna go ahead and remove this fastener up underneath the rear cover. Now we'll go ahead and remove the rear tail light. To do that, we've got a couple fasteners. These plastic wing nuts, there's three of them. Two on the bottom, one on the top. That allows us to pop the lens loose. Now with my test light and a piece of wire, we can back probe the wires to see which color wire performs what signal. This way we'll be able to install our diodes. I'll take my piece of wire, slide it in the back of the connector, and with my running lights on, our brown wire gives us a running light signal. Now with my blinker on and my piece of wire back probing the green wire, you can see my test light goes off with the blinker. So this gives us the right hand side, brown wire is our running light and brake signal, the green wire will be our turn signal. Now knowing what color functions for this tail light, I can go underneath, access the wiring and go ahead and start making my connections. I went ahead and disconnected my plug from the tail light and fed it down behind the sheet metal. And what I mean by that is there is a space below the headlight where the wire actually feeds from between the sheet metal from the trunk pan and the bumper support. This will make it easier for me to strip the tape back and go ahead and make my connections with our wiring that we ran from the front of the vehicle. Let's go ahead and strip the tape back and start making our connections. When cutting the tape free, you want to be very careful not to cut into the manufacturer's wiring. For this application on the passenger side, we'll be matching color for color. Our brown is going to be our running and brake signal. Our green will be our turn signal. I'll go ahead and strip back my wires so I can add a terminal connector. Then on the vehicle side, we'll go ahead and cut the wires so we can strip them back also. Now with all my wires stripped back, we can go ahead and start adding our terminal ends. These ends will connect to the diodes that will separate the vehicle from the RV. With all my connections made, we can now go ahead and install our diodes. Each diode will have one terminal out and two terminals in. The in will come from the vehicle and the RV. The out will go to the tail light. So in this application, our out will go towards our tail light, which is the socket that we removed from the tail light assembly. And then reconnecting with the vehicle brown wire and bringing in our brown wire that goes to our RV. We'll repeat the same process with our green wires. Now I can go ahead and tape these wires back up and feed my socket back up to the tail light and then repeat the same process on the driver's side to identify what color my wire is coming from the tail light signal to connect the wire to our RV. This particular design is going to have a total of four diodes. Two on the passenger side, two on the driver's side. To make that work, we've added some wire length to our yellow wire to run over to the driver's side and we're going to cut the brown signal wire that comes from our RV, add a butt connector and another piece of wire to run over to the driver's side also. Let's go ahead and do that now. So I'll take my added piece of wire, twist it together with my RV side, and go ahead and twist it onto my butt connector and crimp it down. 
Then we'll go ahead and reconnect the other side of our butt connector, reconnecting our main wire that goes into the diode on the passenger side. All right, now we can go ahead and tape our wires back up. The only thing we'll have hanging out is our brown and yellow wire that's gonna run over to the driver's side and we'll be able to take our manufacturer's socket and run it back up to the passenger side taillight. With my plug refed up behind the passenger side taillight, we can now take our brown and yellow wires and route them over to the driver's side. I'll just be using some black zip ties to secure it to the manufacturer's wiring on my way over there. We can take our side cutters, cut off the excess from our zip ties. Just like on the passenger side, our brown wire is our signal for our running and brake light. And our yellow wire on the driver's side is our signal for our turn signal. Now we can go ahead and disconnect the plug. We'll feed it underneath, just as we did on the passenger side, and then make our diode connections with our brown and yellow wires. With all of our diode connections made, we can go ahead and reinstall the taillights and the, all the interior trim pieces. For this application, the customer has chosen to go with a six pole round connector to attach to the RV. So we're gonna go ahead and mount a custom bracket, some fasteners, and then we'll go ahead and wire up our six pole connector. Okay, I've gone ahead and disassembled my plug. I'll feed my wire through it so we can go ahead and pull our wires apart and strip them back. Our green wire is gonna go to the terminal on our plug Mark for R for right turn signal. Go ahead and feed that in and tighten it down. Then right next to it is gonna be the L for the left turn signal. And we'll feed our yellow wire into it. So go ahead and tighten it down. Now we've got two remaining wires that we need to hook up. Our brown one, which is the running or T for tail light on our plug. And then we'll need to run a white wire for ground. We've got our three wires connected that we ran to the back of the vehicle and make our connections with the manufacturer's wiring. Now I'll go ahead and take a piece of white wire, make the connection with our plug, and then we'll run it back to the vehicle frame and make a connection there. Go ahead and take my piece of white ground wire, run it through our plug housing, through the bracket, Go ahead and pull it through. We can go ahead and seat our six pole back into the housing. Okay, now with our six pole mounted, we'll go ahead and raise the vehicle back up so we can run our ground wire. Just using a black zip tie, I'll go ahead and take and secure my wires together. Now we're gonna go ahead and route our ground wire up. Put a ring terminal onto our ground wire. and then attach it here to the bolt that already goes into the frame. That completes the install of our wiring kit on our 2012 Chevy Malibu.